video games is very popular among teenagers and adults. Most of us must have played a video games at least once in a lifetime. The history of video games include consoles, arcade, mobile games, and also PC games. Video game was created far back in the early of 1950, where the first video games invented was Pong in October 1958 by a physicist named William Higginbottom. While the first console was created by an engineer named Ralph Baer, he was known as the father of video games where he invented a game box that allowed us to play action, sports and other games on television sets. Over the year, Baer's created seven prototypes with the help of Sanders until they came up with the first video games pattern in 1971. It was called as a brown box that went on sale in 1972 and it is known as a Magnavox Odyssey. During the 1993 to 2006 was the era of mobile phone gaming until in 2000s, online gaming and mobile games become major aspects of video games culture. PC gaming has been holding a large market share in Asia and Europe for decades and continues to grow. Since the development and widespread consumer use of smartphones, mobile games have been a driving factor for games as they can reach people typically uninterested in gaming and those unable to afford or support dedicated hardware such as video games consoles how video games affect your brain here are the facts helping with the brain's perception one of the benefit playing video games study side of life science discuss how video games can improve brain perception university of rochester show gamers who play about 5.5 hours Of Asian games each week for a 9 week show, a 43% improvement in their contrast sensitivity. The gamer's brain were able to process visual stimuli more efficiently. Angry Birds is actually quite a great educational tool. It can teach children about the physics and improve their problem solving skills. Angry Bird requires the user to think abstractly. And that can bring so many benefits to a child's cognitive development, including logistic, special skills, strategy, pattern recognition, mapping, and perseverance. Playing video games may help children with dyslexia improve their reading skills. Action video games found it improved their reading speed without any cost to their currency. A fast-moving game requiring a high degree of perceptual, cognitive, and motor skill. Dyslexic children learn to orient and focus their attention more efficiently to extract the relevant information of a written word more rapidly. Video games play benefit of coordination. When an adult or child is playing a video games, there is not only staring at the computer inactively. The activities and action on the screen provide a lot of mental stimulation. For one to play, he or she will need to coordinate their visual, audio, and physical movement. Playing action video games benefit hand-eye coordination. Playing these games require reacting quickly and accurately to events that happen on the screen. This practice improve coordination in other tasks as well. Okay, now let us see what our society have claimed about the video games. Over the years, this world has had to deal with a lot of stereotypes and false claims. One of the most damaging of these claims are the media blaming violence and other crimes on the influence of video games. Video games have often been associated with negative condensations, such as negative gaming effects theories that include notion social detachment. Social detachment can be described as the disengagement from participation in a range of societal activity. Two common detachment associated with video games are heightened aggression and social separation. Heightened aggression is thought to be a critical long-term effect of playing violent video games. Social separation in video games in terminology is when the gamer becomes detached from social, including social interaction. Also, 
they lose social skills due to the lack of interactions with people. Violent video games have not created a generation of problem youth so often feared. There is some speculation that video games can cause social detachment through people and real-life encounters. Though, people do not realize that it is not say game that detaches the player. It is say that the gamer carries the type of personality that play. Marquis also stated that those who choose to play video games on average consider themselves smarter but more socially awkward. It is the player that choose to play the game that already feels socially disconnected without a direct effect of playing video games. Although, it seems that a higher number of people who play video games have social impairment, but it is not directly connected to video games. In an online poll, gamers were asked what they believed to be the main benefit of gaming. Over 40% say that gaming improves emotional well-being. That is a serious benefit if you consider that 1 in 5 people in America experience mental health issues each year. This is a large contrast to the common view that playing video games leads to violence and other antisocial behavior, which, according to QT, is a view that 93% of gamers think those claims are incorrect. Another benefit that was talked about was forming strong friendships. Around two-thirds of gamers claimed that they have met up to five friends while playing games and another 37% said that they have met even more. Playing a game provides a good icebreaker, common ground and a way to spend time together. It's only natural that it would lead to strong friendship. How does technology influence the gaming industry? Sales from the global gaming industry reached over 125 billion USD in 2018. We look at how gaming has developed and the influence technology has on our gaming needs wants and preference specifically in the board and video game sector in year 3500 before century board games were played in most culture and society throughout history the first game discoverer was first dynasty burials of egypt in the 17th century the games that play was card games moving on to the year of 1902 Monopoly was designed and a board game industry continued to grow. In 1970, the first video game, Computer Space by Nothing Associated, was introduced. In 1972, Ping was released. Coin-operated arcade-style game grew in popularity. In 1975, computer-based games such as The Dungeon allow multiple players to join force and battle monsters together. A console system was introduced for home playing in 1979. During the 1980s, home computer appeared with built-in games and floppy disks enabled the game to be portable. As the internet become more available, dial-up bulletin board system were used for online gaming. Handheld LCD games, especially Nintendo, have first dozen of other portable games. Board game manufacturers develop their board games creation into videos and computers edition. Around the year of 1990s, computer games boomed with better graphics. multimedia abilities which include sound cards and CD rooms. During the year of 1997 until 2000, mobile phones are released and Nokia installed Snake into their phones. Mobile gaming technology booms with the introduction of mobile game apps and as a result, board game sales fall in 2000 until 2011. In 2012 until 2016, Virtual art becomes a popular topic and develops rapidly due to advancement in computer, graphic, video, and camera technology. 
Lastly, in year of 2020, the most popular video game home console are Nintendo Switch and PS5. Games taught us how to be with other people. They show us how to think differently and how to think the same as humans evolved so did our games. The game has changed more than a part of growing up, more than a way to be social gaming video. Gaming is now a way of life. Video games have come a long way since the first rudimentary arcade machines emerged in the 1970s with offerings such as Punk, Pac-Man, and Space Eventers. Each generation since then has enjoyed rapid technological advancement and the industry now are worth billions. The difference between the old and new video games are their gaming design. In relatively recent past, the gaming design was limited to 2D only. The cinematic approach to the game will influence the level design. So basically, what is 2D games? 2D games are in linear. The character will move in different directions with the screen but it is a forward motion that has a start point and end point or we can control it to the side and vertical. But for the 3D games, the action and movement have depth. This makes them appear as solid environments and the characters and objects will make up the game world. That's why 3D effect has a more visual rather than functional purpose. But to create the 3D games actually brought a new challenges for game designers. The ability to move in infinite directions in 3D makes more significantly more complex level design. Next difference between them are the control. The controls in the old video games are more simpler and easy because the movement are straightforward. But for the 3D games, they have a lot of complicated control options. The control button will be like this. Lastly, the difference between the old and new video games are the idea of games. The new video games used to create games of different genre and most of those games will give players some freedom of actions than the old video games. Here is the how the cinematic of new games are goes on. It is cool right? So what do you think? Game over.